on this video I will be explaining to you how to use nuclear notation and uh, also I'll be and how the elements are structured in the periodic table so this is how how, how an element looks like in the periodic table it, it has three parts the first part is the biggest part and it is called the symbol for this element the symbols H is hydrogen so the the first letter of a symbol is, is always capitalized and some symbols usually uh, ha can, can have up to up to two letters like for chlorine it is Cl for calcium it is Ca and for sodium it is Na but there are a lot and always the first letter capitalized so the symbol the number that you can see above the symbol in this case this one is called the atomic number let me erase this part and what the atomic number tells you is the number of protons in that element so plus for hydrogen it will only have only it will only have one proton and in nuclear notation we represent the atomic number with the letter Z and well the last the last part would be the the number that is below the the symbol which is the atomic mass and well the first thing you notice is that the mass num the, the, the atomic mass uh, is has decimals it's not an exact number not a whole natural number and this occurs because well in the case of hydrogen it has two more two more isotopes and the the atomic mass is the is the average weight of all the isotopes and this these two isotopes have the mass of two and three but they are not as common as as the hydrogen isotope the so hydrogen has two more isotopes that weigh two and three and the usual hydrogen the most common one weighs one so the number will be more like close closest to one because hydrogen is the most abundant one the the most common we see in nature so even though the other isotopes weigh two and three uh, it doesn't really make a, uh, a difference in in the atomic mass I will explain to you what an isotope is in another video it because it would, then it would talk it would take too long but it's just like it behaves similar to, to the element but it is not the same it simply differs in the number of neutrons I, I will talk more about it in, in another video so don't worry about it too much so now this for nu for nuclear notation there's there's something that's called mass number let me it is not the same as the atomic mass of the element it is so the mass number of an element is going to be the sum of the protons and the neutrons of that element and but as you can see the the atomic mass has decimals the mass number cannot have a decimal so it will be something like this it is just a one because you can have half a neutron or, or a quarter of a neutron so the mass number of, of hydrogen would be one, which means the sum of the of the protons and the neutrons is gonna be equal to one. For the case of hydrogen, it doesn't have any neutron, so it will only be one proton for what's adding up for the for the mass number. This is called the mass number, and that is the number that we're going to use in nuclear notation, not the atomic mass. I'm gonna give you another example with carbon just for you to to see the difference so this is how carbon looks in the periodic table again the symbol would be the C in the middle the atomic number is a, is a number that's above the symbol in this case the C the 6 and as I said before it's the number of protons so carbon will have 6 protons and we represent that with the letter Z so Z would be equal to 6 and this number is the atomic mass so we're not going to use that in neutral notation it would be 
this. Sorry, this. So in neutral notation, this is what represents the the atomic number. So z equals to six, and this is the mass number. The mass number I forgot to say before is rep represented with an a. So a is the mass number. And well, the mass number is the sum of protons and neutrons. So because the the mass number of carbon is twelve, the it will and it has six protons. It will have six neutrons. But that is how we'll we'll find nuclear notation. All you have to know for now is that the mass number is equal to twelve. So now let's get into nuclear notation. Nuclear And what you have to know about nuclear notation is that it is helpful for determining the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in an element. So you will be using it, they will be asking you for the number of protons, giving you the, the, the mass number or, or the atomic number, and you will you'll have to, to know how to find it. Nuclear notation is represented like this. The, the element will be an X. The, a z and q that is how you write nuclear notation this q represents the charge of the element in this if uh, if it, it is an ion this a is going to be the mass number and the, and the, the remaining z will be the atomic number atomic number and as I said before the atomic number is the number of protons the mass number is the sum of protons and neutrons and the Q is just a charge if it is an ion now if you want to, to find the the number of protons you will, you will represent protons with a P and a plus it is simply the Z, which is the atomic number. If you want to find the number of, of neutrons, we represent neutrons with an N and a zero, it is A minus Z, which is the mass number minus the atomic number. And if you want to find the number of electrons, we represent an electron with an E and a minus, it is Z minus Q. So it will be the atomic number minus the charge. So and those are the, the, the two formulas that you will be using to, to find the, the two subatomic particles. Now for an example. Let's say we have oxygen. And oxygen has 16 here and 8 here with no charge. So the first thing we want to do is to put a letter on, on the number. So the 16 would be the A, right? A is 16 by using the formula before the A would be the Z which is 8 and there is no Q because it is not an ion and well they're asking us to find the two subatomic particles so we'll put, we want the protons the electrons and the neutrons right as I said before in the formula, the protons are the atomic number, and the atomic number is the Z. So the protons are 8, because, of, because they are the Z. So this is the number of protons. To find the number of electrons in the element, you will have to use a, Z minus Q. And because there is, no, there is no charge, the number of electrons will simply be the, the number of protons. So in an atom, then the number of, of electrons will always be the, 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 the number of protons. It, it is different when, when you have a charge, when, what is, when it, it is an ion. And well, what is left is just the number of neutrons, which would be A minus Z, the, the mass number minus the protons. So 16 minus 8, it is 8. In this case, they're all, they're all the same, but it doesn't happen often. Now let's solve them with which actually has a charge. So calcium, 20, 40, 2 plus. 
so again we want to start by using the letters and assigning them the numbers so the Z would be 20 the A would be 40 in this case we do have a charge so the Q would be 2 positive and again they're asking for the, sub sub the subatomic particles so protons neutrons <laughs> I just pulled out the thing and it yeah. it wasn't writing so so as we did before the number of protons will be the Z so it will be 20 the number of neutrons will be the the A minus the Z the the mass minus the atomic number so it would be 40 minus 20 20 and the number of electrons will be Z minus Q which would be 20 minus 2 the 2 is positive. When it's negative, the, the sign will change. So it will be 18 electrons. And that's it for nuclear notation.